Thanks so much for checking out this video. This is going to be Witchfire gameplay of the brand new Ghost Galleon update. It's a DLC. I'm going to show you all of the classes that you can choose. I'm going to choose one that I like out of the group. I haven't really looked at them yet. And then I'm going to play it. I did get a code uh, from the devs for this through Terminal. So thank you guys so much for sending that code. I have played this game once before on this channel. And I really, really liked it. I really hope they can nail the full release when it comes out. They are planning to have it release on consoles as well. Right now, it's only available in early access on the Epic Store. I'm going to end the previous stream and bring people over uh, with Redirect. We were talking about the PS5. Pro and so let me get my I didn't plug in my controller hopefully that's not a problem I think I can use a dual sense let me see if I can use a dual sense uh, and hopefully we can uh, if not I forgot how we did this last time uh, let me try the Xbox controller I have one in here just in case uh, we need it there we go okay we'll do an Xbox controller all right profiles Okay, we're going to do a new game. And make sure, as you guys come in from the redirect or from clicking the link, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. Uh, Gameplay streams are usually a little lighter on support and a little bit lighter on turnout. And that massively helps us uh, when we we can uh, get those likes right at the beginning. Okay. A war rages. Okay, I'm gonna skip all the cutscenes because this is I've seen all these before. After a long and arduous journey. Okay, so here we go. All right. So what we have here is six different uh, starting classes to choose from. I'm gonna click on each one so you can see what they have. So the butcher, strong, heals quickly. Has the stamina of a much younger man, fearless in battle, was less uh, what lesser men mistake for anger and rashness. So if you click on him, you can see both his vitality, witchery, uh, metanoia, his luck, his endurance, and his healing. And he starts with an auto rifle, heats bullets, boosting damage or ignites enemies, as well as bittersweet nightshade. When low on health, any damage taken makes the fetish release a powerful shockwave, okay? And apparently, uh, he heals quickly as well. So his healing and his vitality. I'm just going to use the right trigger to go to the next one. So you'll notice vitality dropping uh, and healing dropping a little bit. But endurance is going up and metanoia is going up. So metanoia, which fire gives you life and unnatural powers. Metanoia allows you to waste less volatile witch fire during the absorption process. Okay, so this guy gets... An auto rifle, bullets ricochet among marked targets, and a pained tooth, a tooth found among witches' ashes. Critical shots on full health enemies ignite them. That sounds awesome. Um, So he starts at level 6. Also up here we should be looking at that, starting level 5. So the hunter is a cunning fighter with a steady hand and no ego. Uh, The mission is the only thing that matters. Everything else is a mere distraction. Okay? Slayer uh, finds twisted delight in wielding witchcraft to dispatch the witch made abominations. Agile uh, with a talent for close range combat. Okay, so close range. Vitality, healing is a little bit lower. Endurance, witchery, metanoia, and luck are higher. So, witchery is the more you study with magic and open your mind to its esoteric truths, the faster your body is ready for another spell. Um, he uses a hand cannon, the cricket. Dash after a kill reloads the and boosts the gun. That sounds nice. Lightning bolt, spell, it's knock back to shock the enemies. Okay? So that's the first three. Shadow, and oh, what's he start at? Starting level six. Shadow respects witch magic enough to avoid unnecessary risks. Why slit throats when a bullet from the shadows achieves the same detail? So vitality, healing, and endurance are all low, lower here. Witchery, metanoia, and luck are high. And he has a bolt action rifle. Critical hits hurt all enemies inside the all seeing eye. Shockwave that stuns nearby minor enemies and exhausts the major ones. So, this is more of like the distance fighter, right? He's not going to be able to take a lot of damage. He's going to have to sit back and use the bolt action. Uh, the Saint is an avid student of the fates for a pub, pub, publicly serious noted? I don't know what that means. That's somebody's name. Uh, against a lucky man, even gods are powerless. So vitality, healing, and endurance kind of straight across the board here, nines. Um, 
Witchery, Metanoia, and Luck. Starting gear, the Ricochet Auto Rifle, the Vulture Crossbow, fires a difficult to satiate arrow that actively seeks the next target after wounding one. Ice Sphere, it spawns an Ice Sphere that protects the caster from damage and freezes an enemy that gets inside of it. Um, And then Book of Serpents, a powerful amulet disguised as Grimoire. Anyone who hurts its owner is cursed with decay. Now, this guy starts at a level 1. I don't necessarily understand that, but we're going to have to choose this. Okay, and then the pent, the Penitent level 1. Not recommended for beginners. A haunted man cursed by his past and oblivious to the shadows looming in his future. He starts with the Hunger Hand Cannon. Rewards perfect aim with increasingly potent bullets. But he starts at level 1 and he gets nothing else. Just the gun. Um, so, I definitely think the Saint is compelling even though he starts at level 1 the shadow's a no-go the slayer sounds good the hunter sounds good the butcher also sounds good I honestly feel like the butcher is the one that I would like the most just because staying alive is so so important the early I remember being I remember this game being kind of challenging in the earlier uh, areas Although this this guy dashing after a kill reloads and boosts the gun. I just I don't like how his healing is low. What does he got here? A lightning bolt that knocks back enemies. Oh, the butcher doesn't get a spell, but he gets this basically as like a passive. Um penitent, don't be a B. Well, I would like to actually survive and have some gameplay for you guys. And then the hunter, uh at critical shots on full health enemies ignite them. Yeah, I think I'm going to go... They did a good job with this. They really did a good job with this. Like, I'm actually having a hard time choosing. I'm between the Hunter and the Butcher now. When low health, any damage taken makes the Fetish release a powerful shockwave. Let's go with the Butcher so we can survive. Survival, Survival is key. Okay, let's just check our settings very quickly here. Um... Where can I do that? Uh, oh, here we go. Let's go to video. Windowed borderless. Brightness S F O V upscaler type. Yeah, we're going to use DLSS. And we're going to go full screen okay I'm seeing good capture yo stone spire gifts a member hang on let me get the goal up here for you guys that takes us to 30 out of 50 on the day tempting that 20 bomb getting us even closer to the weekly goal thank you so much Okay, run. LB is dash. To understand how to fight the witch and her minions, please interact with the prayer sigil. Follow the ashen lines. Okay. There was something. Was there a message back here? Movement abilities and getting wounded cost stamina. Stamina replenishes over time and by absorbing volatile witch fire from wounded or dead enemies. If you run out of stamina, you become tired. If you keep loose spending stamina while tired, you become exhausted and weak. Keep jumping to become tired and then exhausted. Okay. That's tired. I guess we're exhausted once it's flashing. Okay. The particle effects are causing some hitching. When your health is fully depleted, you die. Heal your wounds by inhaling healing elixirs. I, I don't have a healing elixir. Am I supposed to have a healing elixir? 
It didn't give me one. I, you're gonna the game's gonna kill me I was I supposed to get a healing elixir back here no okay yo guys make sure you're smashing that like button thanks for the strong turnout 25 more likes gets us to a hundred Making a mistake such as getting uh, hurt by a triggered trap increases the calamity bar. When it's full, the witch believes your confidence is at its lowest and she will cast a calamity for most powerful curse. Then you can try and find and destroy the catalyst, a giant witchfire vortex that powers the calamity or fight the calamity directly. Golly. Killing enemies increases your maximum stamina. With enough kills, you will enter the focus state. For a brief moment after dashing while looking at an enemy, you will see their soul sigil. Shooting it before it disappears will always stun the enemy. Any damage taken will reset the bonus stamina that you put out of your focus. Look at the enemy and... I saw it. That was sort of. You gotta really be quick. This area is currently unavailable. Okay, well, they didn't give me. I, they didn't give me a, a way to heal myself, so I'm gonna die. They, that the tutorial injures you so that you heal yourself, but they didn't give me a potion. Oh yeah, here's the apothecary. So this is one of the places where you can like level up. How many do I have to do here? Yeah, hang on. All right, let me get back to full health, and then I guess I'll just brew. I stashed four, and I made three. Okay, I got four in the stash and one in my hand. Okay, so you can have, like, five healing elixirs, it looks like. I believe also when you come back here, you can go up here and you can do things to upgrade your weapons and your abilities. I forget what it's called. Yeah, Ascension is like your stats. And I, obviously, I don't have any currently to spend. And then you come in he here. No, that requires 5,000 volatile witch fire. It's up here on the left, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come in here and you can change your gear around. Relics, rings, spells, heavy spell, light spell. There's a uh, weapon, weapon, then there's a demonic weapon. I don't know if we can go straight to the galleon to show it off. We'll just have to go to the first area and we'll see. It's going to be hard to remember that LB is dash. My instinct is to hit B to dash for some reason. Oh, wait. Unknown area. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we can't... Sh I don't know how to show off the, the, the ghost galleon to you. Find and kill the witch is familiar. Or gather witch fire and treasures and use portals to escape back and level up. That's right. I remember that. So, like, you can pull open the map and you can use um, these to go back and use your stuff. Like, spend your stuff. Now, my memory was it was a pretty... What's it telling me to do? Oh, it just goes. I was like, go away, tutorial. I remember this being a pretty tough learning curve. 
Um, and the only thing you can't see behind me is my ammo. But I remember the game being really hard, and you got to kind of get over that curve or you're done. It's feeling... It's feeling like they adjusted the difficulty down a teeny bit. I remember this first area just rocking my world. I think I was also a level one. So I think they're letting you start at like a more... At like a more reasonable level. Okay, so I have to choose here. Increase weapon damage when all spells are drained. Elemental status effects on enemies last longer. Use white raven feathers to unveil. I don't have any. Um, I'm going to do that one because I don't have any spells right now. So I think I should get that all the time. Movement feels good. Gunplay feels good. I remember really liking how hand can like how pistols felt, how hand cannons felt. They felt really, really good. And there's dots on the map. So there's something over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a supply chest key. I think you get those from like stronger enemies, if I remember correctly. If you guys are enjoying the show, take a second. We need 13 more. 100 likes will really help us as we start out with some gameplay. Oh, the enemies are up there. I don't know if they can attack me from up there. What happened? Okay. Critical kills on shocked enemies produce a storm shockwave that knocks back all and shocks all near enemies. Death will not consume any witch fire. I'm going to do that one. Okay. Wait. Oh, I thought, oh, he threw that. I thought it had already blown up. Oh, well. Okay, what's this thing? Supply key. We can go back and open up that chest. The crossbow is the demonic weapon. Okay. Okay, so I remember this. I remember this. So right now, I've got currency that I could try to go back and spend, and there is an extremely dangerous area there. So what we probably want to do is go down here and up the coast and see if we can't turn on that dormant portal. We can go back and spend an update. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, the radar is useful. Do I need a key for this one? No. Okay, the feathers will be useful for the, uh... That's demonic ammo. Yeah, we're going the right way. Down here and go along the coast. So a lot of times areas like this will look empty and then they all of a sudden they start spawning. Yep. That guy's got really good aim. Holy moly. He shot me from all the way back there. What do you think that... Multiplayer or single? Uh, single. What is this? Curse risk is moderate. Protect by Calamity Hex. This remnant of old age radiates with black magic. If you decide to pick it up, its power might bring unknown dangers upon you. So I thought I had stashed other healing. Game the game is still really tough out of the gate, I'll say it. We might be able to go back here and turn this portal on and get and go spend all of our currency so that we don't lose it. It's up in here. Yo, what's good, feed? Thanks for the 100 likes, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you sticking around for gameplay. Oh, shoot. Yep, we're going to have to go around. We're going to have to fight our way to it. I thought it might help me. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what we can upgrade here. Maybe multi would be more, uh, was more fun. I mean, okay. So when we come back here, it automatically equips a potion from my stash. Okay. All right, let's go here and upgrade that, upgrade that. Oh, everything goes up in cost with your level. So now everything is 3,200. Okay. I don't think we got any spells or gear to speak of. No. Okay. Oh, let's go back. It sounds like, too, if you come back with a ton of currency, you can go into other areas up there.
Like if I come back with like 5,000 um Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to start a new expedition. I want to go back to the one that I was in. What? I thought those portals... Oh! May, aren't there portals you can go back through to get back where you were? You start a new expedition every time. My memory the last time I played it... No, yeah, look where I am. I'm up here. Yeah, all that stuff's cleared. What are you doing, dude? How is this game? I really, really like it. I wish I had more time for it. I wish it was on console. It's currently in early access in the Epic Store. They did indicate that they plan to bring it to console. I'm currently very weak in the early stages of the game. Like, it's a rogue. And I have no spells. I have one weapon. This is bad. Oh! I 
I'm low ammo. I'm I'm gonna have to pick up ammo. I've not been picking up ammo. Oh, there's almost too many enemies. I I, I can't, you can't fight that many angles. I also, I really wish you didn't have to pick up ammo manually, like running through the enemies it should pick up on its own. Like the fact that I'm low ammo and I ran through all those dead bodies, like I have seven bullets left. That seems like a... Thank goodness for melee. I didn't even know if I had a melee. Yeah, I'm dead. I can't... Yeah, I can't heal. Me many Christmas. Yeah. This was my experience when I played it the first time. I don't think they do a great job with making the game approachable. Like, I know you're supposed to die in a rogue, but like the first area, it sh I just, I've always thought that about rogues. Like the first area should feel a little bit more approachable. It is better than it was the first time I ever played it. I still think it's extremely unapproachable. Like, I think this game is really going to struggle to get an audience when you give the player so little in the beginning like and now i've got nothing i didn't get out i didn't achieve anything i got no points there is no meta progression so when it overwhelms you like that and you die that's it you just got to go back and try again i don't have another weapon i don't have a spell i really do feel like they have a really really terrible on-ramp for this game i love it i love the way that it feels but if you make your game this unapproachable people will not play it they won't once you get over some of these humps and you get other weapons and you get spells, the game really starts to shine. It really, really does. What? Oh, yeah. Close the door. It looks challenging. I love a challenge. The problem is, is it's not challenging. It's that you're weak and can't do the things you need to do. There's too many weapons. Like, you don't have enough power so it's not like, oh, just get better, bud. Just get better. Just, you know, get good. It's like, no, I don't I don't have anything. I have a weapon. I have to pick up the ammo manually. So, like, running through those crowds of people, I didn't get any of that ammo. Like, I've got to, like, look at the ground and hit X. Like, that's another, I think, I think that's poorly designed, personally, to kill 15 enemies. I run through where they died, and I have no ammo. You've got to go back and, like, individually hit X on all of the ammo. I think that that's silly. It's like, well, I successfully killed all the enemies and survived, but I've got to tie my shoes 15 times to pick up all the ammo. Like, come on, just let me pick it up when I run over it. I'm also questioning this starting class. Um, I think the pistol felt better. It felt like you could engage at a distance with better, um, and you had better ammo economy. Like, I feel like I'm running through my am ammunition. And none of these guys even dropped ammo. Maybe you're supposed to punch those guys on the ground to retain more. Disable spell? I don't understand what that's for. Okay, that didn't seem to... I don't think that hurt me. So that must... Oh, my punch is on a cooldown. So we can definitely punch the guys crawling when we have a full... Yeah, it's not strong enough. Oh. 
Yeah, but you don't get the currency if you don't kill them. Yeah, it's PC, early access, in the Epic Store. I really like the game. I just think they need to work on the approachability. I think the opening... I just think it needs to be more approachable. It's extremely punishing. Um... And once you get over those humps, I'm telling you, I remember, like, I kept playing, I stuck with it, I pushed, because, you know, I wanted to see. And when you get another weapon, when you get a demonic weapon, when you have a spell, oh, that's when the game is really fun. Like, I feel like they should maybe give you some of that in the earlier stages to expose you to it, and then you can ramp up the difficulty. Like, this is just the first area. There's other areas. Like, if you want to raise the difficulty in those other areas, I think that that's, that makes perfectly good sense. What's back here? Yeah, they need to make the stuff fall out of the chest in front, too. Instead of falling behind it every time. Oops. Because what it does is it motivates you to always run and leave. So like the minute you have even a decent amount of currency, you just kind of want to leave. Like right now I know I need 3200 to buy um, one thing on my skill tree. I can't help you with that, kid. They just do that some... What show? Just switch to something else if you don't want to see commercials. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're watching. Huh? You know, you know what you're allowed to watch. Just pick something else if you don't want to see ads. Does the game have a story? Yeah, loosely. It doesn't really... It, it puts it in the very, very beginning. I'm not really interested in stories and games like this. I'm, I'm more interested in just playing the rogue and shooting stuff. Seems like you can kind of chain those guys together a little bit. You can grab those flowers back there. You can grab the mushroom, but it hurt me. I didn't see the flowers. See, like, I don't have a spell, and that also makes it weird in the early stages, right? Oh, I can consume that. Oh, that healed me. Oh, I forgot about that. You can you can eat some of the stuff to heal, you know, if you need a little bit. Like, you're giving me the option to pick stuff for light spells, and I, and I don't even have any spells yet. So again, it makes the game feel like it's paced improperly or something. You know what I mean? I've never played a rogue before, and I've, I've played a good amount, not a ton. But I've never played a rogue where they're like, do you want to buff this or buff this? And you're like, I don't even have that yet. Why would I? You know, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, 
Okay, that's ammo. This might be cursed, though. It looked like it was, like, glowing. Yeah, there's another thing I can eat. Okay, we gotta keep our eyes open for, like, the little pine trees. I keep hitting the wrong thing to bring the map up. Alright, we got a boss over here we can try to fight. I'm gonna try... Yeah, I'm gonna go over here first. And see if we can't get some stuff before fighting him. Okay, that goes back down to the beach. We don't need to do that. Holy crap! Ah. This, the minute I break the plane? Come on, bro. How long do those things last? Can I shoot them? Okay, I'm going to start shooting those. Those are making it hard to navigate the... Increase weapon damage when all spells are drained. I mean, I guess. Collect your remains. I don't remember that from the last one either. It's been so long since I played. Let me go back here and see if we missed anything. We need health really badly. We are not going to survive a fight. I don't know why that's my instinct on the Xbox controller to hit that button. There's a portal all the way over there. We could basically go... Oh, wait. We could go down to the beach... Yeah, I think we should go back down to the beach. There's no reason. We got 12,000 on the currency. There's no reason to go fight a boss and die right now. We would get nothing. Man, they're accurate. Wait, there's something over here. Yep. Oh, that's why we have suddenly so much currency. You can. You can go back and get your fallen remains. So that's that's an element of like a little Souls-like element that I don't remember being in the first, the first time I played it. I think I got into such a good rhythm with going back. I cannot freaking break that habit. Keep hitting the wrong dadgum button.
Need to use melee more. What? Oh, that's right. That was a teleport. Oh, it's on, it's it's on the back side of this mountain. So it's hard to see the text, but it's counting down the portal opening. I don't know if there's really a good way to do stealth, Hilly. As soon as you start shooting, they know where you are. Like, it's th that's kind of fun. But yeah, it's also kind of like, no, there is no real stealth option. All right, let's see. <clears throat> I don't think we got any items. I don't think we got any new weapons, but we definitely have a ton of currency. We have 15,000. So we can come here, make ourselves a little bit stronger here. Um, okay, our next upgrade is 7,500. Next upgrade, 7,500. I don't... Yeah, and we can go here if we come back with 5,000. 5,000 volatile witch fire. Well, I don't know if I have volatile. I have 4,000. I don't know if it's volatile or not. Oh, we got something. Oh. What? Oh. Continuous fire heats up the weapon. Bullets deal more damage when heated and less when overheated. So we unlocked a skill for our gun. Okay, that should help. Yeah, always check. Always check when you come back. See what I'm saying? Like, the minute you get a taste for it, like, it's a good game. They just, they need to make it a teeny bit more approachable. Like, I feel like I should have a spell just to be a little bit stronger than I currently am. Yeah, there's definitely a class that you could play more stealthily. Oh, I forgot you have a double jump in this. <laughs> I won't know her. Years of bad muscle memory. Seems pretty generous on the pickup. You gotta just be in the vicinity and hit X. Oh, shoot. Something I really like in Ghostfire, um, I'm sorry. Was it Ghostfire Reborn? Is 
is you have a gun with infinite ammo. I must not be hitting it. Critical kills on shocked enemies provides a shock. Wait, we'll just do the faster reload. That'll definitely help us. We got supply chest keys. <laughs> yeah, so you want to keep the gun in the heat in the middle. You don't want to get into the overheat. Increased reload is nice. Oh, I, I don't need the healing. Oh! We're getting better. We're getting better. Okay. Nice. Nice little build we got going here. Okay. Alright, we need to remember this section of the map right here, in between these two skulls, we've got two healing elixirs that we can come back and get if we need. What the heck is going on? Three healing elixirs. Why are there so many healing elixirs? This game looks hot. I think it has a ton of potential. I think they got to tweak a little a little bit with the first, you know, your first experience with it. It's got to be a little less um punishing it it's better than it was the first time i played it oh my gosh getting out of that first area that i just was in with like the like the house and the beach it was brutal it was brutal to the point that like i thought i was doing something wrong i was like clearly i'm doing something wrong and it was like no people in chat were like it's just really tough I know your tricks now with that little teleport. See, we're running into the ammo problem again. I've got a hundred bullets. Somebody's still alive. Another healing elixir. There we go. Oh, gosh. I'm stuck. Yeah, ammo economy is terrible with this weapon. I, with the pistol, I never had this problem. 
All right, this this is a, this is a significant downside to picking this class. His ammo economy is just dadgum awful. Drowned Captain Health Bar. Oh golly. That's him. Okay. I I I, I can't fight. I'm out of ammo. That's a new area, which means new people are going to spawn. <sighs> There's some ammo. The, the, yeah, this gun, dude. It is not a great gun. It's strong. Freaking kidding me. Like, I don't feel like that should be the pain point, you know? Like, you ran out of ammo. You can't, I can't, I literally can't fight. Like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, dude. The elixirs disappeared. Weren't they back here? Oh, no, there's one. <sighs> we need an ammo. We need an ammo uh, crate. Is what we need. There's none back there. There's some over there. There's somebody over here. Yes. Why are you running? I'm trying to net ammo on these guys and I can't. Like, they don't even drop that much. I don't get why they're running away. Yeah, you cannot, you almost can't net. It's like you can't net gain ammo with this weapon. Like I have to use. If you tr if you try to be sparing, I, t I would not pick the guy that I picked. This weapon's freaking terrible. Like I can't net gain ammunition. I have to use so much more than even the guys that drop ammunition. Like I get less back. Like it's stupid. Like that's dumb. <laughs> it's you're not supposed to be robbing the player of the basic power they need to advance simply by fighting like simply by fighting I am losing the very thing that I need in order to fight I get 17 bullets from them on average it takes a little more than 20 to kill them I think that's a design flaw how am I supposed to engage in combat if the more I engage in combat, I am constantly net lossing ammo. And the sanity meter, I think is because I took, I'm not gonna be able to win this fight.
Yeah, you can't, like, skip them. I mean, you can try to. And not every ammo... Not every enemy even drops ammo. They drop ammo when they have that little um, sphere above their head. Twenty seconds to open the portal. Yeah, I think it's it's either it's either something that hasn't been tested well enough with this particular character. I feel like the amount of ammo required to kill most of the enemies is so significantly higher than the ammunition that the game gives you back. It feels it feels incredibly imbalanced. Like I don't feel like in a shooter. I should be experiencing an ammo pain point just from engaging in basic combat. That doesn't seem like that's well designed. Like, you should be making mistakes, d taking damage, uh, not navig not managing your stamina well, uh, you know, not navigating angles well. Like, I shouldn't just be running out of ammo because, well, you fought enemies. Like, what? Can you stock up back at the hub? No, you have a max. Like, right now I have uh, 550. And even the guys that drop ammo, each thing they drop only gives you 17 bullets. It's like, what the frick? Like, I, that's that's such a small amount. It doesn't seem like nearly enough. Um, luck in dealings with the witch. I don't. I don't care about that. Yeah, we don't have enough. Why have a boss if you don't have ammo? I like it when it's close, but not imbalanced. Okay, we don't have... I don't think we have anything yet. Oh, wait. I have to kill 100 enemies. I've gotten 45, and I gotta get um a second Mysterium Incantation. Yeah, the game is fun. It feels good, but like I shouldn't be having to run away and not fight because... The, the process by which you get through the level is having you constantly at a net loss of ammunition. Now, obviously, you could look at the map and you could say, um, go, go where the ammunition crates are. But it's like, I don't understand. Like, basic combat isn't feeding me back enough ammunition to engage. Like, look at the map when you first get here. Extremely dangerous area. Enemies, enemies. There's an ammo chest. There's an ammo chest. There's an ammo chest. So just to get to where the ammo chests are, you are very likely going to engage in combat that's going to be consistently having you not maintaining your ammunition. You're just constantly losing. I'm not even worried about the boss, Abe. The guy that I fought, he was like... He was like a mini-boss. He was like a mini boss. He wasn't even like the main guy. He was just like a named dude I could fight. See, those guys aren't dropping any ammunition. If they don't have that blue orb above their head, they're not dropping. There's too many at that angle. I'm going to get lit up. I'm going to have to take a different angle. So I'm already down to 410. Goodness gracious, why is it so hard right now?
This just doesn't make any sense. It's like I triggered something. I don't even know what I triggered. This is just the opening area. Good lord. I mean, it could be that this class is just not great right now. They added these classes with this DLC, and the class and the weapon I chose just not, might not be very good. Like, I just, I don't, I don't feel equipped for the combat. There was so, there's too many. It takes way too, the time to kill with this weapon, I have to commit so much time is this an extremely dangerous area? Yeah, it, it did. It said that on the map. It's the starting area, but there's nothing you can do. You're like, well, what am I going to do? I, this is what this is how the, the RNG gods have determined that the opening area is going to be extremely difficult. But like, um, they want you to do shorter runs. It's really difficult to do shorter runs because you have to get kills to get the currency, and then you have to get to the portals to get out. And if you don't do that, that's it. That's over. Now, I could obviously go back and try to get my currency and hope that it's not um, like a tough area. I wonder if this class is just not a good class right now. He doesn't seem tuned properly. His gun seems to take way too long to get a kill, so your ammo economy is terrible. Time to kill on basic enemies is terrible. I don't remember it taking this long to kill enemies when I played with, like, I think I had, like, a pistol. I felt like you could, like, take your shots and kind of get into, like, a nice strafe, back and forth, back and forth, and kind of, like, land good headshots. And now it's like I have to commit, I have to commit such a large amount of time that I end up getting shot because you you know you, you have to stand still. It's an it's a fully automatic weapon. It's not like a it's not like a pistol where you can take little pot shots at people. I think it's an incredibly dangerous area again. Yeah, yeah, it hasn't changed. Yes, you started with a pistol last time. Yeah, I wonder if we should try a different class. I just, I don't feel like this weapon is built for the early enca encounters. It's a roguelike. It's supposed to be hard in the beginning. You're not listening to what I'm saying. I didn't say that it shouldn't be hard. That comeback is... I get so tired of that. It's like you, pl like you play a game in early access and provide feedback, and you're like, it's supposed to be hard. I'm not saying that it shouldn't be hard. I'm saying I don't feel like this guy's equipped to engage in the basic combat. Basic combat in a game like this is a means of getting through the actual game. Like, you kill the guys, you get the currency, you get out, you upgrade. This weapon doesn't seem built properly. Like, it doesn't feel good. I don't kill the enemies fast enough. I'm constantly running out of ammunition. I don't remember any of that from the first time that I played. I'm not saying that the game shouldn't be difficult. I'm saying I don't feel like this class is particularly built well for um I don't think he's built well like I feel like the weapon that I had when I had the pistol you could like the combat's telling you stay out of the line of sight don't stand still for too long like that's what the combat's communicating to me this weapon doesn't allow you to do that like this weapon is is forcing a play style that makes it very difficult to not just get shot a bunch and then also I'm just constantly running out of ammo like it doesn't feel built for the early stages of the game and maybe that's the point right maybe you're supposed to um oh you have to carry you got to come back down here with 12,000 witch fire and you can study gnosis 1 that's how you get into the other areas um No, 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 no. It's not fun. Yeah, it's not like a compelling offer. It's not like, oh, I, I can't wait to go back and do that. Like, he doesn't feel... And he's... I'm level 12. And I don't even feel like it. I played as a penitent. 
You guys remember how hard that was? When I first played the game, that was the class, was the penitent. And I mean, you were weak. You were level one. You had nothing but a pistol. A war raging in a distant Rogues are hard by design, but the on-ramp doesn't need to be a straight wall. It needs to give players a chance to get caught up to the difficulty. Um, Who was it that we tried? Yeah, we tried the Butcher. See, he's going to have the Ricochet Auto Rifle as well. All right, let's try the Slayer. We don't need to do the tutorial. He might be better suited for other parts of the game. Well, and like... We always ran into this in Destiny, right? The hand cannons and the shotguns are always the best. Why? Because it does a ton of damage to a single target. So it tends to help with TTK, with time to kill. Auto rifles were always tough to use because... You see how much faster those guys died? Now, I have less ammunition, of course, so we may run into the same problem. I remember the pistol I started with being very different. Yeah, see, I want a single-shot weapon. I'm running into the same problem here. You've got to commit so much time... Oh, did you see the damage drop off with this thing? He was do I was doing one damage to him at distance, and then I got close and was getting like 19. Yeah, this isn't going to be any better. He's going to suffer from the same problem. That that gun felt worse. That gun felt worse. It was another fully automatic, and I had to get up close. Can't change weapons? No. You pick a class and... A war raging in a distant land. Only witch hunter after a long... He's got the rifle. The saint starts at a level one and the penitent starts at level one, but he gets the hunger hand cannon. I, I don't know. We could try the Hunter's auto rifle and see if it helps. I just... I don't feel like the combat's designed for a fully automatic weapon. You have to stand still in order to get kills. Like, you need... Like, you need, like, a rifle or, like, a single shot. No, this is going to be the Ricochet, the Vulture Crossbow, the Ice Sphere. Yeah, but I'm going to be a level 1. The shadow, maybe? With the bolt action rifle? Yeah, if you. This thing, you have to get really close. I had to get extremely close to, to get kills with it. We can try the shadow. I don't know. That. I remember the hunger hand cannon. It felt. It just felt perfect for the combat type. You'd land a headshot, you'd stray for get out of the way. You'd land a headshot, like you were able to chisel them down instead of like, no, you have to stand still. Like you can't move around when you're shooting a fully automatic weapon. You have to stand still and get a line of fire on their head. Okay. So we don't get like a a scope or anything. I have five shots, 95... I've got 100 total bullets. I don't think this is going to be the call either. The t- rate of fire is too low. It's It stuns them.
Ain't no sense in wasting ammo on those idiots. All this makes me want to do is go back to the hunger pistol. Right? I want that hunger pistol. I'm telling you, that hunger pistol is so perfect for these encounters. It does the right amount of damage. Its fire rate is great. I mean, you get currency from these guys. It just seems better for the ammo economy. I'm down to 79 bullets already. Oh, lucky. Why don't I have any heals? I don't have any heals with that guy. Is that... I, I wonder if he's supposed to start that way. They gotta work on approachability. They really do. Like, when I played... um gunfire reborn with my wife when i played robo quest when i played hades when i played returnal they hook you like you get hooked with the early gameplay this gameplay is like it just smacks you in the face and tells you, you you're just, you're gonna enjoy it or you know what i mean like it's just not an approachable game right now it really isn't I think they've got good ideas. I think the guns feel good. I just don't think the game is approachable. The guns don't feel good for the early combat unless you use that hunger pistol. I'll play this guy. I'm going to show you guys something too. I'm going to show you something. Because I'm going to show you my leveled up uh, penitent. I'm going to show you how fun the game can be. Yeah, I don't have a potion. I guess we have to go in here and do it before we leave. Seems a little... Okay, so I'm level one characters. You can't make potions. That's neat. Yeah, you have to craft the heals each time you start a new character, but... Um more of a hardcore rogue it's not easily approachable rogue like Returnal or Hades well I mean that's my feedback to them is if that's what you want to build man you go right ahead I don't think a lot of people are going to play the game then I think they're going to walk away See what I'm saying? Gets him in a stun pattern. He can't do anything, and I get to kill him with good accuracy. That guy's grenade went short. I told you, this weapon is the weapon. It'll have an audience, a smaller one, but people will like it. Well, and they might receive the feedback and say, hey, you know what? We could make the beginning feel a little bit better, a little bit more approachable. You know, they might take that feedback and think that the, that the, the appropriate thing would be to make the early classes and weapons feel stronger so that people could get a little bit further and feel like, you know... See how this weapon just helps you? Like, I can just manage the fight. (laughs) 
what I'm saying? It's it's this 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 gun is built for this combat. That was that was a hard choice. Those are both good. Three headshots, like nah. I think I'd rather have the steep on ramp instead of it getting five times more difficult later on. All right, there's ammo over here. Okay. See how just my ability to maintain damage my ability to maintain damage and step back and forth, he missed his shot on me. And you cannot do that with a fully automatic weapon. And the fully automatic weapon is designed to do better damage the more you keep shooting it. Remember, like the heat in the middle was where you wanted to be. Well, guess what? In order for that weapon to be effective, you, you have to freaking maintain your position and then you get shot. It's not built for the rhythm of the game at all. Like, that's a perfect example right there of what I was talking about. I was able to keep strafing and keep putting damage on the enemy, and so I didn't die. Or, I'm sorry, I didn't get shot. It, this weapon is built for the rhythm of the combat. It allows you to maintain damage while also being able to not get shot so easily. We'll go up here and take a right. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm a level one and I feel stronger. I'm not, the other guy was a level six. Oh, I wonder if that's a crit spot on their, on their butt. Never would have been able to do that with that auto rival, dude. Yeah, I don't think the fire rate increase would have helped me at all. 
What meta progress have you made since the stream started? Well, I switched classes. So the first guy that you saw me playing as with the auto rifle, I made him have more health and more endurance. Um, this guy right now has made no progress because I haven't gone back and spent any of the currency. Ah. Uh. This is bad. have a melee What the frick? This is really bad. My ammo's low. See, being able to stun them is huge for crowd control. Five bullets from each ammo drop. Just five. There's somebody still alive. (gasps) 
<sighs> Jiminy Christmas. My ammo situation is bad. I have 12,000 points, though. So what we should be doing is we should be getting the frick out of here. That replenishes your ammo, basically, all the way to the top. We should go fight. We should go fight. A... Now that we have ammo, we shouldn't leave. I have two heals and full ammo. We should definitely stay. Here we go. We got a crowd here. Should have saved that melee. That'll be good for the boss fight. Doubles all stamina costs? Why do you get that? Oh, for money? Oh, so you take a cursed item for, I guess, the money or whatever? All right, we need to go back along the coast. That requires Gnosis 1. Yo, my man Quintar, gifting five members, taking us to 35 on the day. Thank you so much for doing that, Quintar. All gifted members can now... Oh, what is this? Yeah, them being weaker definitely helps. That that 10% weaker is kind of nice. Um, Gifted members can now come to the writer's room on Friday night. We are going to go to the writer's room here... Uh, in probably about 20 minutes or so, uh, I'm going to just try this boss on for size and we'll see what we can do. I think this game has massive potential. I just think they have to rethink some of the design choices. One weapon in particular feels like it's like really, really well built for the combat. And the other weapons I tried today felt genuinely terrible. They did not feel equipped to kill the enemies fast enough. without practically guaranteeing that you take like a bunch of damage. Well, there should be enemies out here.
No, this game is right now in early access in the Epic Game Store. I'm terrible. Well, that's it. <sighs> Unfreezed enemies are damaged for a part of their maximum health. Gunplay feels great. The gunplay genuinely feels great. The problem is is that there seems to be one weapon, the weapon that I'm currently using, that is properly built for what the game asks of you. The way the combat is designed, the other weapons that I tried, the other classes that I tried, their weapons just felt genuinely terrible. Like, look at how different my gameplay has been, and all I did was switch to a class with the... I kept telling you guys, like that. I'm telling you, I'm like, that pistol... I said, I don't remember it being like this. I don't remember struggling to, like, kill enemies fast enough. Um. Alright, let's go take a look at this boss. We have 19,000 currency as well. And all we have is a, is a gun to fight him. We don't have anything else. We don't have spells. No weapons. Two elixirs. <laughs> I'm confused. Like, how do you summon him? Am I literally not, like, do, do you have to be smart enough with Gnosis to summon the boss? Is that a new, is that a new mechanic? I don't remember that. Well, obviously, the strategy right now would be to take it back and spend it, but I just wanted to see the boss. What, do I have to go back here and... Well, like, wake him up? No, it doesn't have co-op. Yeah. 
it seems like you can't even do an initial run where you fight the boss. I need Gnosis 1 to see him or to spawn him, it seems. Well, there goes that idea. Um, they changed that then? Unless it's bugged or something, I can't get the boss to spawn. I figured we were just going to, you know, show him off. Because I have a higher level penitent character than this. You know, there's no real reason to, to take this penitent back and to level him. Because he's not, I have like a level, I think I have a level 9 penitent from whenever I first played. Back to base then to the boss. I mean, you need 5,000 to get into the one area. You need 5,000 to get into the one area. Then you need 12,000 to get to Gnosis 1. So you need 17,000. That's almost all of my stuff. I have 20,000 uh, points to spend. I also feel like this weapon, when you upgrade it, I feel like it gets stronger because it gets like a buff every time you get a crit or something. Such a good run. Yeah, I'm a level one. Look how much of a difference the gun makes. I'm literally a level one. <laughs> Reloading grants one charge bullet for each critical hit before reload. Charge bullets deal increased damage. Yeah, this gun's ridiculous. It's such a great weapon. <laughs> it's, it's such a great weapon, bro. Every crit puts a charge bullet in the next mag. It's such a great weapon. <laughs> yeah, I'm a level one. And I could spend all my points here, but let's see what Gnosis 1 does. Let's just do it. We have enough points to do it. 5,000 to get in. And then we come down here. This is a rogue. So you die and you start over, but you do have meta progression. Now, oh... Now I ha it says I have to defeat the first familiar. That's probably the first boss. So they basically expect you, I guess, to do the, just a basic currency grind to get to Gnosis 1. This weapon is one of the weakest if we're talking about 3R Mysterious. I'm just talking about the on-ramp to the game, my friend. The, the approachability of this game turns on a dime when you use this weapon. Wait. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't spend the 12,000 to get Gnosis 1. You just have to have that much in your possession. I didn't spend it. Oh, that's nice. You just need 5,000 to get down there. That's way more approachable. I was like, oh my gosh, you need 17,000 just to get to Gnosis 1 and then you don't get to spend it on yourself? All right, so in one run, I got to level six. No, the gameplay is not janky at all. The game feels great. You may have been pushing your luck too much. What's funny, Eugene, is you said don't be a sissy. Pick the penitent, and the penitent seems to be the best one. <laughs> He's the best!
You see the glowing blue on the clip? I mean, I'm not freezing anybody, though. Let's go check out this boss. Ran through the flowers again? What? What flowers? What the frick? Yeah, let's head to the boss. Let's see what this boss is all about now that we have Gnosis 1. Oh, I, I am freezing people somehow. Those charge shots, dude. I told you, this weapon is sick. Oh, I waited too long. The frick? The frick? What is that noise? What is over here? Oh, 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 they're little plants. Dude, F you in particular. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Death will not consume any witch fire. That's a great perk. Okay, let's check out this boss, and then we gotta get out of here. We got, I got work to do. Oh, I don't have a key. Break. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. So you can't beeline the boss. You've gotta fight enough enemies to get enough witch fire to open it. They've really made this um, quite a bit different than it was originally. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just... It's just different. boss little mini boss over here he's up top well that was new screaming cantaloupe I guess killed me um once I realized what was happening, it was, uh, yeah, it was too late. It was too late. I don't think we're going to be able to get to the boss. Because I think it's going to start us back on the coast. We're not even going to be close to him. I mean, I guess we could beeline to him and kill people along the way to try to get to the, to try to get 5,000. Yeah, it's going to start us here. Uh... <sighs> There's no fast way to him. That was one of the things last time I played it that I remember being kind of disappointing is like you discover how deadly something is just by happenstance. Like I remember I shot an enemy and it spawned like this huge boss and I was like, I didn't know that was going to happen. I was like, I was trying to just go to the the real boss, not like a like a spawnable boss. And I remember being kind of bummed by that. It's like, well, I wouldn't have done that. Well, I wouldn't have run past those screaming cantaloupe if I knew they were going to do that. You know? I didn't even notice them. I was just like, let's go up here and kill this guy. Oh, 
of wonder, can I use this? I can. There we go. We can go to the boss. We can just beeline the boss now. Ah, of course. Now you're pretty fast when you sprint. Oh, I missed the turn. It's this way. I don't know if they're going to follow me this far. All right, we're almost there. Oh, there they are. Okay, you can hear them. That's what I was hearing. I thought I was hearing the guys. Uh Uh-uh. No, that's like a mini boss. That's not even the boss boss. Okay, we'll have one perk for the boss fight. All right, here we go. Well, that's different. Ooh. Oh, frick. Oh, he, t- he teleported. Dodge too early. Oh. 
Holy frick. I have no ammo left. Oh, you have to be in that circle once he does that. Okay. That's a good fight. I just don't know how you're supposed to get ammo back. I was down to like 10 shots. So... I like the fight. I like the way that it felt. It felt like it was really manageable. Um, it really did. It felt like it was very manageable. Like, you could definitely circle. I think the ad should give you ammo, though. That should be, like, a natural reward for killing the ads. Um, is that you should get ammo back. I, what was I going to do? I was going to run out of ammo. How do you get your ammo back? And maybe, and maybe you're not supposed to really fight him like that. Maybe you're supposed to have other weapons and spells and other ways to do damage because, like, it's it's probably not intended to have you go in there with, like, literally the base weapon. So, I like the design of that fight. That's really good. Um, I don't remember it being like that. I don't remember the boss being a section that you dropped down into, so that might be new. I thought you just fought the boss, like, in that area. So, I like that fight. I like this game. I really do. I just think this weapon here is the only weapon worth using. The other weapons just feel like absolute garbo in the uh, in the early stages. So uh, let me set up the writer's room and I'll bring you guys with me. And that is available to all members, gifted and up. We made that change today. Um, let me go ahead and reuse the settings. And, uh, yeah, all channel members. It's such a shame because those other weapons look like a good time. Like, I got excited when I saw all the classes. I was like, oh, dope. There's going to be all these other weapons to use. But, like, this, this, this hand cannon is just, it's it. It's the truth. Like, it's the one to use. It really, really is. It just, it's fit, it's made for the game. It really, it really is. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching, uh, consider smashing that like button on our way out. We only need 24 more likes for 200 likes. We don't do a whole lot of, uh, of, of, uh, gameplay here. Uh, I'm actually going to, I'm not going to put this though in, uh, hang on one second. We're going to move this to the new gameplay playlist. I had it in the wrong playlist. Thanks so much for being a member. And you may be seeing this for like the first time. You're like, what is the writer's room? Well, we have now opened the writer's room, our daily show planning stream that we do. We have now opened that to all gifted members and above. So you may have gotten gifted a member this week. We are pushing for 300 members. Currently, we have like 115. We're close to the halfway mark of hitting that. And then we'll celebrate on Friday night with Madam and I uh, doing Ghost of Tsushima with two controllers and you're like what is that well you should tune in and check it out uh, I am going to spam a link in the chat for you guys just in case redirect doesn't work uh, I will give you guys a link to come with me and then I will also redirect you guys to it and stream there we go